Welcome to Eco Ask Why, a podcast that dives into industrial manufacturing topics and spotlights the heroes that keep America running. I'm your host, Chris Granger, and on this podcast, we do not cover the latest features and benefits on products that come to market. Instead, we focus on advice and insight from the top minds of industry because people and ideas will be how America remains number one in manufacturing in the world. Welcome to Eco Ask Why. We're going to have a fun episode here where we're just going to talk about things we've learned, things that have worked well, what's coming up in the future. It's just been a whirlwind since we came up with the podcast. This is the end of our second season, and I've learned a lot of things as a host and working with the wonderful guests that we've had. Been very fortunate, very blessed to have so many people want to contribute and the wisdom and insight that we brought to our listeners just taking you back, we started off this season with the Women in Engineering series that made such an impact. As those who listen to the series know, I have two daughters myself. The The personal drive behind that series and, and the information we brought forth was just something I'll remember forever. And I know that from feedback that we got that it impacted a lot of people and just cannot think the, the women enough that participated and that shared their stories. We also had through this season, the military to manufacturing series. And as a, an advocate and a supporter of the military, this one, it was a no brainer. We met Mary Burgoon and learned more about the AAM and had a chance to actually talk to people who served this country and then went into that program. What an impact. And, and to think that maybe people that are listening to Eco Ask Why heard Jackson Henderson talking about how he transitioned from the Air Force to now he's a rock star within industry and he's growing and his career's taken off. If they got the inspiration from that conversation, it's a touchdown. And then I, I think back to conversations that I had with Tim Woodson. And, and that was a special conversation. Tim is a, one of the most humble people I've ever met in my life. And just a genuine salt to the earth leader. And how he's leading as president of Century Equipment. He's leading that group. But he listens and he cares and his heart's in the right place. And, and they're doing wonderful things. And that conversation just impacted me tremendously. All the guests do for sure. Thinking through Andrew Hastert, the things that Andrew has done, supporting the show, bringing in guests and multiple guests. Even most recently, we had one of our guests that you'll hear next season. She was referred to him as one of, one of her mentors. And th that stuff just really makes an impact. We had at the end of this season, the change series. And we, we had some really cool conversations. Hopefully everyone enjoyed those where we were talking about STEM. We talked about the manufacturing perspective and then that closing the industrial skills gap. And all those things are so interconnected and intertwined to where industry is evolving. We have to start helping the next generation. And that's what a lot of that STEM topic to cover were, hey, how can we support, advocate, encourage more and more people to go into that field. And then the manufacturing perspective was spot on because so many people think about manufacturing and they have this idea, whatever that idea is in their brain. And usually it's, it's a production line. You're doing the same thing day in, day out. It's dirty. It's hot. And Linda Freeman, she just completely debunked all of that. And then we got to hear some innovative ideas from Jason over the, the skills gap, the ways that they're working at Amtac to address that directly. So just a really cool series that I hope brought some ideas that maybe not everybody's thought of together and how things could be moving in the future. And then not to mention just all our heroes. I love the hero conversations. I, I know our listeners do. We get feedback on that. So I'm always trying to think through things that you want to hear more about heroes. So if there's questions you want to be asked or areas you'd, you'd like for us to explore more on those hero conversations, please let us know. Definitely, this is a, an evolution. We're, we're evolving. We're getting better and trying to bring you information that is inspiring and that 
people and ideas over products. So we are sticking with that. And as we move into next year, we already have three series set up in January. Be expecting to hear a series coming out around power studies and the different types of studies that you can do and consider inside your facility. A lot of times January is a good time of year to really evaluate where you're at from a safety standpoint. So we prioritize that. In February, right before Valentine's Day, well, there'll be a wonderful series around industrial networks. And we're talking about industrial networks one-on-one, talking about your OT and network operability, network assessments. So it's some really cool, cool things to jump in from some of our experts that have worked with us throughout the year in recording. So that's coming in February. Right now in March, we have a series around variable frequency drives that we're planning. So if that's an area of expertise that you'd like to learn more about, how do you select this drive? How do you select between a saw start and a drive? Now, what do you need to consider when you're changing one out? What I need to know about a startup? So right now we know we have those three series coming with a ton of wonderful guests that we're working with that we're excited to share their stories. We're always looking for guests. So if you're listening to Eco Ask Why and you'd like to share your story, if there's a topic you, you think would bring value, just reach out to us directly. You can do that through the website. You can contact me directly on LinkedIn. My link is in all the show notes and we can talk through an idea that you would like to bring forth. So love to have that end user direct uh, feedback. So if you're that industrial end user, that's who we would we'd love to hear from. So hopefully uh, I'm speaking to someone right now Please take that action, go into the show notes, click on my information, send me a message, and would love to talk to you. The last item I like to bring up is whatever the platform that you listen to Eco Ask Why on, please go give us a review, give us a five-star rating. It really does help to drive visibility up. We want to get this content out to as many people as we can. So if you take the time, it could be one to two sentences. Just give us your thoughts on what you like or maybe what you want to see done differently. We'd love to have that review because it really does make an impact. So for those that are wondering how they can help the show, that is a, a really good place that we're asking for assistance with. And, and on that note, I, I just want to thank everyone again for taking the time. You can listen to any podcast out there, and there are plenty of them, but you take the time to listen to Eco Ask Why. And that means the world to me. And on behalf of Eco and Eco Ask Why, I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays, and a happy new year and looking forward very much to talking and bringing you guys some wonderful episodes and ideas and heroes in 2021. Thank you for listening to Eco Ask Why. This show is supported ad-free by Electrical Equipment Company. Eco is redefining the expectations of an electrical distributor by placing people and ideas before products. Please subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends. Also leave comments, feedback, any new topics that you would like to hear. To learn more or to share your insights, visit EcoSY.com. That's E E C O A S K S W H Y.com.